Welcome to Clark Environmental's High Temperature Thermal Treatment Facility. Before soil can be thermally treated, a generator information form, also known as a GIF form, appropriate analyticals, and acceptance code must all be on file with Clark. The soil is weighed in on our state certified scales and unloaded at our staging area. A loader stockpiles the soil into our dirty soils area. After we have accepted the soil from a generator, the soil will be taken by loader and deposited into the feed hopper. Any objects greater than six inches will be screened out on top by the grizzly and deposited on the debris side. The soil will then move up the belt to the shaker screen. Here, any objects greater than two inches will be separated out and deposited on the debris side. By rule, unless modified, no objects greater than two inches may be thermally treated. The soil is then moved up the belt weighed and deposited into the feed chute. The debris is loaded into dump trucks and sent to the FDEP permitted landfill. The desorber is an 8 foot by 50 foot long stainless steel drum permitted to treat up to 75 tons per hour. Unlike most thermal plants in Florida that burn between 400 degrees and 600 degrees, this desorber will achieve temperatures of 700 degrees to 900 degrees. There are flights inside the drum which create a curtain of dirt moving down the drum. This creates complete combustion of the petroleum in the soil. Using a 50 million BTU Hawk burner, the hydrocarbons move up the ductwork to the cyclone. The cyclone separates the heavy end of dust from the hydrocarbon airstream. The dust is then deposited via augers into the desorber's direct flame for reburning. This patented process, in essence, will help achieve burning temperatures of 1100 degrees to 1200 degrees. That is why this plant is called a high temperature thermal treatment facility. The oxidizer breaks the hydrocarbons down into their elemental form, oxygen, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, and so forth. It does this by achieving temperatures of between 1500 degrees to 1600 degrees Fahrenheit for 1 to 1.5 second dwell or retention time. The oxidizer is carbon steel with a 6 inch ceramic insole wool lining and is heated by a second 50 million BTU Hawk burner using fuel oil. This 1500 degree plus air moves to the pre-cooler and then into the two air to stainless steel heat exchangers. Think of a car radiator. Instead of using antifreeze cooled by air, this air is cooled by air. The oxidizer air temperatures are cooled from 1500 degrees plus to approximately 350 degrees Fahrenheit by sensors in the control house manipulating the dampers and the two 125 horsepower cooling fans. The cooled air then moves into the bag house. Any residual dust is moved via augers to the soil quencher at the end of the system. The bag house removes any residual dust from the treated airstream. This dust is moved via the auger system to the soil quencher at the end of the system. The bag house is composed of 560 bags, 16 feet long by 6 and a quarter inches in diameter. The total cloth area is approximately 14,000 square feet. The vertical bags, which surround a metal cage, are made of a material called Nomex. The bags can take a steady temperature of 400 degrees Fahrenheit with intermittent temperatures of 450 degrees. There are two 150 horsepower fans which provide 57,000 ACFM. The pulse jet cleaners inject air into the bags every 10 seconds, thus cleaning them of any dust. The existing airstream is monitored for carbon monoxide, particulate matter, temperature, visible emissions. The soil from the desorber mixes with a dust from the oxidizer and bag house in the soil quencher. The soil temperatures are approximately 750 degrees Fahrenheit when mixed. The soil is hydrated with water from the five injectors on each side to reduce dust and cool the soil to approximately 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The soil moves up the discharge belt to the staging area. 
At this point, the soil is called treated soil. The soil is then moved to the treated area bays. The five bays are separated by concrete blocks. Each bay will hold approximately 400 tons of soil. By rule, every eight hours or 400 tons, whichever comes first, a post-burn sample must be pulled. It takes approximately two days to receive results. If the soil passes, it will be staged outside, now called clean soil. If it fails, it will be reburned. Our clean fill is used for FDOT, FDEP, and other commercial markets. From the second story of the control house, the board operator can get a 360 degree view of the thermal operation. The control house is equipped with two emergency shutoffs and 40 automatic safety shutoffs. From the control room, the board operator has a two-way communication with loader operators as well as all drivers and office personnel. The control house is also equipped with a computer to download the current day's activities.